people say that even if you bend a gun barrel, the bullet can still fire normally. To put that rumor to the test, Jamie grabbed a hollow steel pipe and used a machine to bend it. He secured it onto the test platform, then aimed a gun at the pipe. At the far end, they placed a block of ballistic gel. Once everything was ready, Adam pulled the trigger remotely. Amazingly, the bullet followed the curve of the bent pipe and hit the gel. It stayed completely intact, with only some scratches from rubbing against the pipe. The bullet nearly punched all the way through the block, thicker than Jamie's own body, proving it still had deadly force. Next, they bent the pipe into a full circle, which meant even more friction for the bullet to fight through. Could it still be lethal? Adam pulled the trigger again, and sure enough, the bullet struck the gel at a deadly speed. The results were shocking. To remove any doubts about using just a steel pipe, they decided to go all in, bending the barrel of an actual rifle. First, they ran a baseline test. The muzzle velocity was 1,216 feet per second. Then they bent the rifle barrel a full 180 degrees. Jamie pulled the trigger remotely, and the bullet came out at 900 175 feet per second, still more than enough to be fatal. They went further, testing barrels bent from 45 to 135 degrees. Every time the bullet still flew fast enough to kill, the myth was confirmed. And just to be clear, this experiment was done under strict controlled conditions. Do not try this yourself.